Years ago, I watched this movie, I think it was called The Leap Year or A Leap Year, and the, in the movie there was a scene, so the male, the main male protagonist said to the main female protagonist, if you were in a fire, if your house was in a fire or was on fire, what would you take with you? You can only take three items or something, whatever he said. I forget what he said. It's like one to three items or whatever you could grab. What is the one, two, three things that you would grab if your house was on fire? And I really started, I, and you ever watch a movie and kind of think, this is eventually going to happen to me. Like, I used to watch a ton of Hallmarks with my ex, and I, feel, I felt like, even though I was with her, I felt like at some point that that whole scenario was eventually going to happen to me. I don't know why. I'm like, I'm always watching these. With this particular movie, I'm like, I feel like this is going to be an example of something maybe that I'll be able to use in the future. Not that, you know, I want the house, and I, I'm not saying I want anybody's house on fire, but what would you take? I know the one thing that I would take, it would be none of the camera gear, it would be, it would be no things, right? It, there's one item that I would take. Now, if I had animals or people in the house, those would be the first, you know, that would be the first thing that I would, you know, get out of my house. But in this instance, I'm here by myself. There is only one item that I would really care about. It's not my phone. It's not any of this stuff. There's one thing. And I got to thinking... I'm over 40. This year has been absolutely crazy. And I know a lot of people who have had an absolutely crazy year. And I'm like, I've come, I don't, none of the things that I used to have as interests are interesting to me anymore. And I started thinking to myself, you can't find who you are by losing yourself in what you own. So one thing that I highly suggest, and one thing that I have done this year to find who I am, there's a couple things is pack up everything that's non-essential. Everything, or donate it. I donated, I can't even tell you how much stuff I've donated. It's almost incomprehensible how many, how many things that I have donated, and I couldn't even tell you what they are. Things that I've thrown out, that I couldn't even tell you what they are. I go past, like, all the, all the malls now are being turned into storage centers, you know, storage lockers for people who have stuff, that they, you know, they're surrounded by stuff. And I packed up everything. I'm talking video games. I'm talking about art stuff. I'm talking about just anything that I, clothes that I haven't worn. It still have the tags on them. I packed every single thing up that I could possibly think of. Everything. And I haven't gone to unpack any of it. And I have started reading the Bible like crazy this year because this year has been extremely divisive. Actually, it started last year. Kind of a little bit, a couple, like a month after this time, it has just been an absolute roller coaster that I've never expected to go on. I've had a crazy life my whole life. And I started reading the Bible. It was shocking to me. Like, I've always been interested in the Bible. I've always kind of read the Bible. And I've always had it in the back of my mind, but I really started doing it. And I really suggest doing this. Now, I didn't start packing my stuff up then. But what I have done lately is like, I'm like, you cannot fix it. Like, none of this stuff is, is of any interest to me. It's kind of like art. I'm good at art, but I don't really know if I care about it. I'm good at video games, but do I really care about it? I haven't unpacked any of it. I haven't unpacked the art stuff, which is over there. I haven't unpacked the video game stuff, which is upstairs. So do this to yourself. All the stuff that you don't wear. All the stuff, all the video game stuff that you you have, or whatever it might be for you, doesn't matter. Music, whatever it is, pack this stuff up. What of those things will you actually unpack? Will you ever care again that if that stuff is out of a box? I see a lot of people who have these huge closets, and it's like I, it feels oppressive to me to look at this. They're like, I got to have you know all these outfits. I did that. I used to spend twelve hundred dollars a month for clothes back in the 90s. Can you imagine what that would be these, these days? And none of it really ever mattered. None of it ever mattered. I, I was doing it to please other people. With video games, I found that I was in my video game. I would do things in video games. It's like why I like playing role-playing games so much. I would create a character in a game that would live how I would really live in real life if I actually had that belief in myself to live this way. 
Instead of doing this stuff in a video game, throw the video game out. They want us playing video games. They want us on these 12-step programs, which is druidic. I, I'm not going to go into it any more than that because uh, YouTube, they had a 12-step program, much like uh, the American school system, where they cr created a system well, where in 12 steps they could create you or turn you into exactly what they wanted you to be. A non-thinking, plug-and-play, employee, just non-playable non character type thing. You know, just plug into the system, just do your work, just go to work, come home, drink, maybe have sex, go to bed, get up, work, go, you know, which, you know, some of it's not bad, right? Like, like sex, but like the other things in it, I, you see this, the straight misery on people's face. And when I really started bring, reading, reading the Bible and reading the Apocrypha, which is even crazier than the Bible, and the Bible mentions the Apocrypha like 70 or 80 times somewhere in there. So you, you start really like reading this and do not fear and start realizing that like, in some of the, the verses, God says, I knew who you were before I even formed the earth. Like you had a purpose before you even came here, yet most people get plugged into a system that they hate. There is in the Apocrypha, Enoch, which is actually mentioned several times in the Bible, uh, the book of Enoch, he goes up into heaven and he is uh, greeted by this angel that actually literally was given the task of writing out Every single person that's ever going to come to this planet's path, it's all written out for you. Everything, that little intuition that tells you to do things is that path. They, you had a purpose to come here. You forgot what that purpose was before you got here. And the path is there. It says in John, I probably should pull all this stuff up, but I probably won't. It says something in John about the Holy Spirit will, the Holy Spirit will tell you who you are, and why you're here, and it will keep doing that until you pass away. And if you don't follow it, you didn't come here. You didn't do what you what were supposed to do when you came here. Now, it, it's a toss-up. Like, is what you did actually what you were supposed to do, or is that little voice? Because so many people tell me about like. You know, I don't really want to go to this job, but I'm going to it anyway, or whatever it might be. And they go anyway. And that voice is like, well, you're really good at this. Like, I don't know why I use Apple Orchard all the time. I think it's because of a guy I work with. This guy was so versed in apples, it, was, it wasn't even funny. And he came to, the, to work at the post office every single day. He hated it. He hated the post office. He complained about it all the time. All of us did. And he was so good with apples. I'm like, go work. He had an apple orchard and he's working at the post office. I'm like, you're crazy. You're crazy. You can make so much money off this apple orchard. You'd only have to work like a certain amount of the year. You could have the rest of the year to do whatever you wanted to. You're crazy, right? You, you know, God gave you this, right? God gave you this talent and you're wasting it. You're throwing it away. It's like that parable of the master gives, you know, 15 talents to one, 10 talents to the other, and one talent to one. And the one with 15 talents multiplies it by like 10. The one with uh, the other multiplies it by like three. And the one with one talent buries it. And he takes the one talent away from him because he's so mad at him and gives it to the one uh, the multiplied, uh, you know, to 25. So if you are given these talents, use them. Now, that being said, I have an art talent I can draw. So my drawing stuff is in there. I just haven't felt like doing it. But find yourself, find yourself, but don't lose yourself in the things that you have so you can find yourself. Stop, you know, losing yourself in all these items or scrolling on Instagram, which you're all guilty of, whatever it might be. Stop losing yourself. Stop not listening to that voice in your head. And that is how, even if you're not, if you're watching this video and you're not over 40, I think it still pertains. Like you might, you know, not have your own house or whatever, but in, you know, might not have the ability to pack everything up, but you can kind of do it. I think that a lot of us are losing ourselves in these programs, you know, like TV used to be called programming. 
You know, they, they talk about, there's evidence actually that reading the Bible has all these benefits. And if I can find a short video of that, I'm going to put it here. And we're back. Welcome back. So anyway, the evidence is there. Have I fully, you know, found myself this year? No, this is, you know, I don't know how long the process takes. It, it has been crazy year and it's crazy how the things that I used to use to lose myself, I don't even want around anymore. Like if I, I could literally just go trade in all my video game stuff and just not even care. It's crazy. Like the art stuff, I don't think I would want to do that with, but with the video game stuff, you know, it might actually happen. I don't know. So stop losing yourself. So you can find yourself. Stop losing your stu self and your stuff and figuring out who you are. That's the video. Anyway, uh, comments, questions down below like always. If you think this video would help somebody, share it. And yeah, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.